everyone! So I'm coming to you today from the kitchen of our new camp Tab 400 Little Bear, who you're probably familiar with. But this time we're venturing into kind of a new area, which is sharing some of our recipes that we cook on the road. It's something a lot of people have asked for, but honestly, I've never considered myself a cook, and so I've never really wanted to share, but I'm realizing um, there's actually some fun stuff we really can share. So our main goal is to share very simple meals that you can do with very few tools. Now the first thing I'm going to show you guys is something that is not traditionally camp food. We're going to make spring rolls from scratch. Some of you may know and may not know, I actually majored in Chinese in college. And my best friend in college came from a Chinese family, which means she already knew how to make amazing food. So this recipe comes from my friend Candice, who I hope doesn't mind me sharing it because it is absolutely amazing and surprisingly not that difficult. First, let's start with our ingredients. Now you can go to your typical grocery store and you can find egg roll skins, which tend to be a little bit thicker, fluffier, a little more bread-like with some bubbles on them. Uh, the spring roll skins though, tend to be paper thin and they crisp up really, really nice. For the filling, you're gonna need ground pork, green onion, green cabbage, eggs, shredded carrots, and if you want, bean sprouts. For the seasoning, you're going to need soy sauce, garlic powder, rice wine vinegar, salt and pepper, sesame oil, and ginger. Now I'm going to be honest, we are in the midst of quarantining ourselves due to the coronavirus and I was unable to find ginger or bean sprouts at the grocery store, but it's okay because I think they're going to work great anyways. And the great thing is to make the filling you need very few tools, just a sharp knife, something to stir your meat and veggies with, and a large pot. I like this enamel coated stock pot because I use it for everything. The first thing we're going to tackle for our filling is the ground pork. To season the pork, we're going to add in soy sauce, garlic powder, rice wine vinegar, pepper, sesame oil, and ginger. Of course, we'll have to leave out the ginger, you know, since the stores were ransacked to the coronavirus. Once you finish seasoning your pork, you can set it aside and start chopping up the veggies for the inside. For the inside, we're gonna use cabbage, carrots, green onions, and if you can find them, sprouts, which I wasn't able to find this week. For the carrots, it's usually easier if you buy two to three large carrots and grate them on a grater. Unfortunately, because we live in a tiny camper, I don't have one. So I'm gonna improvise and I'm going to chop up my baby carrots really, really fine. The green onions are easy. You can chop them up in about one centimeter pieces. And you're gonna to wanna to shred up the cabbage, but you don't have to get it too fine because it is gonna cook down a lot when we put it in the pot. Now, by the time you're done chopping your cabbage, it's gonna look like a ton of cabbage. But don't worry, trust me, it's all gonna cook down. But luckily, now that we're done with all that hard, annoying work, we get to start cooking. We're gonna start in our large pot with a little bit of oil and we're gonna brown the seasoned pork. All right, once the pork is just about done, you're simply gonna push it to the side of the pan and you're gonna crack about four to five eggs in there and scramble them up. The important thing is to make sure that they get cooked and broken into really tiny little bits. Once the eggs are scrambled, you can go ahead and mix in the egg and pork mixture. And finally, it's time to start adding all these awesome veggies. So we have our shredded carrots and green onions that we made earlier. And of course, we can start with our multitude of cabbage. If it doesn't all fit at first, you can put some in, let it cook down, and then put another batch in, let it cook down, uh, you get the idea. Just so that it will all fit in the pan. The important thing is to keep stirring it so that it gets really well mixed and everything on the bottom doesn't get burned. You want a really even uh, heat going throughout it. So, whew, I had to close our shade because the sun started coming in. And that sun gets hot in a teardrop when it starts coming in and you're cooking. But right when you add all the veggies, you're gonna wanna add more of all the seasonings that we used on the pork. So that's mostly soy sauce, a little bit of rice wine vinegar, a tiny bit of sesame oil, and then garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Once your veggies are all cooked down, you're gonna season it to taste, that's up to you. And when you're happy with it, there's two important things you need to do. Number one, you need to drain the excess liquid from this whole mixture. 
because if there's too much liquid, you're gonna have problems later when you start rolling it. And if you don't like wasting all of that delicious juice, you can always save it for maybe a soup stock or something later. The second thing we need to do is let this mixture cool before we even try to roll it into the spring roll skins. Obviously, in a tiny trailer, we have very limited refrigerator space. Luckily, I am personally in an area where it's about 50 degrees outside, as opposed to the 80 degrees inside. So I'm just gonna take my mixture outside and let it sit for a while. So, like I said before, one of the most important parts of making spring rolls is getting the proper spring roll skins. These we find at the Asian market. They tend to come in packs of about 25 for like $2.50. The key is to look for super thin for crispier spring roll. This is also the time when you should recruit all of your family and friends to help you. Introduce Kendrick into the picture. He's got to earn his meal. So while our inside mixture is cooling outside, what we're gonna do is we're going to peel these apart because they can sometimes stick together. And so while your mixture is cooling, it's really convenient to go ahead and get them peeled apart so when we fill them later, it's not so difficult. Now this batch should make anywhere between 60 and 75 egg rolls. So I bought three packs of 25. Sometimes you can find them in packs of 30. You could buy two packs of 30. Uh, but we made an extra big batch because I know Kendrick likes to eat rolls. The other thing we're going to do to prepare while our filling is cooling is we're going to make what's called an egg wash. Super simple. Um, it's basically an egg. Correct. Nailed it. Really awesomely. Uh, but it works because I'm a great cook. Uh, and you mix it with a little bit of water and you beat it up. And what this is going to serve as to moisten the corner of our spring rolls so that when we roll it up, it'll stick together and it won't come apart. All right, we're ready for the most exciting part, which is actually rolling our spring roll. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one of your spring roll skins, put it on your plate. You take a small to medium scoop and this is kind of difficult because the problem is if you get too much filling it will come outside the edges and then when you go to fry it it'll like explode so you want enough filling that it's going to be really tasty but not too much that it's going to make your spring roll explode a heaping spoonful i would say a heaping spoonful and then you're gonna roll it up just like a burrito you're gonna start from the bottom and make sure it's kind of tight you're gonna roll it up roll in the left side roll a little bit more roll in the right side roll a little more and before you get to the very end if you have one of those fancy little brushes use that but if you don't have a fancy little brush just use a spoon and put a little bit of your egg wash just on that last corner because then when you roll it up that's going to keep that corner really tight and it's going to keep it from coming apart so let's make 73 more oh dear And here you have our hard work, 75 spring rolls. What are we gonna do with 75 spring rolls, you might wonder? Well, we are gonna fry some of them up tonight, but the great thing about this recipe is that you can use parchment paper and put them in Ziploc bags and freeze them, and then anytime you want a spring roll, you can take out one, you can take out 10, and they will last for months in the freezer. Yay, it is finally time to fry these things so that we can eat them and it's kind of cold outside and windy so we're going to go ahead and do it inside on the stove basically the point is to deep fry them and at this point being that they're not frozen it's only going to take maybe two or three minutes we are choosing to fry and just vegetable oil because it's a really light oil but a lot of people will choose to fry in something more flavorful like a lard or a bacon fat but we're going to go ahead and do vegetable oil the good thing about doing it indoors is that we can more accurately control the temperature of our oil, which we're going to want to be somewhere around 350. Let's do it.
All right, so we are here with our finished product. They're really hot, so be careful right away. You gotta let them cool for a second. But we also like different dipping sauces. So some of the sauces we like are a hoisan sauce, a soy sauce, um, a sweet chili sauce, which is actually very traditional with spring rolls, and then sriracha if you want something a little bit spicier. So and Mandy's been torturing me for about the last 10 minutes, taking pictures and video and everything, I and all I want to do is eat one of these things. Okay, eat one. You can take this one. Well, it's pretty amazing. I went out for a 10 mile run today just because I knew Mandy was going to make these and I wanted to eat more of them. So, In closing, uh, I want to thank you for watching my first ever cooking video. I know I wasn't super specific with like quantities or times or anything. So if you want to know this exact recipe and get more photos, uh, go to my blog, which will be linked in the description below. Thank you so much for supporting us. Cheers to happy spring rolling. Love and light. She tore one. I did not.